Apparently, good morning. She doesn't like that. We're she doesn't. She's gonna knock herself out. Wouldn't be a bad oh, thing, would it? We got Hello. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I'm. Tr I'm trying to oh, conduct a video. We've got more food in the cupboard than I've ever seen before. Exactly. You're happy now. Yeah, I've got quavers. You got quavers. Yeah, and there's, I've got you loads of uh, chicken noodles. Anyway, good morning, people. Welcome along. It's Saturday morning. I do hope you enjoyed yesterday's review of the McPlant Burger. Because I'll tell you what, I surprised myself how tasty the actual burger was. Now, my friend Dave turned around and said, yeah, you may have enjoyed it. It may have been good, but it was damn expensive compared to the good old beetroot burger. He's telling me to try the beetroot burger. So I'm going to find some, and I'm going to make one, and I'm going to do a review on that. Everybody needs to know what food's like, uh, especially Siobhan. She's just been in the cupboard and went, oh, where did all that come from? Oh, you want to look in the freezer? Do you think the, tea, the food cupboard is bad? Yeah, so you got any plans for the weekend, have you? Some questions each week, because no one ever answers me. They really don't. Now, come on, Lucy, I know you're very busy. Two, let me do tell me some good news that Mr. Pigeon decided to come home on his own accord and no cat got hold of him. That would have been horrendous if that ever happened. Oh, look, can, can you see that person? She sort of stuck her head into the picture, then disappeared. Hello, are you there, wife? I'm here. Come are you going to come and say hello to the boys and girls? Oh, hello. Hello. Just You're just going to go over to Asda, aren't you? Yes, you're going to get a few bits. I am. You're going to get a Yorkshire pudding batter mix, because we're going to have Ted and the old later. Siobhan's got a parcel to pick up. They try to deliver it. Uh, when she comes back, she's got a mock interview next week, uh, like a job interview. And she wants to look like she's actually going to a job interview. So she's found a nice little dress, a nice little sexy number. She can uh, impress all the bosses and that with when she actually goes. Have you both got face masks? Yeah. I've got a box in the car. You've got a box in the car, so you can't go wrong here. We do things by the box load. Oh, yes. Yeah, you put that in there for me. That's marvellous. You only just took it out. Please do not let your stone off. Please do not poo. I'll try not to, dear. Can I have, um... Oh, I've got, I've got some clementine juice, haven't I? Yeah. And you've got some orange mango and pineapple or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Where's the cat gone? I don't know. He's sniffing everything. Quick, don't let the other one in. Thank you. All right, I'm still sitting here waiting for my door ring doorbell to turn up. Hmm. How could, did I tell you I ordered it at Christmas? Because they were out of stock. They did apologise. And they said they would honour the free gift. Now, the free gift is an Echo Dot. <gasps> oh, another Echo in the house. What are we going to do with them all? Uh, Terry did say you can use them as communication devices, but I still haven't worked out how I can send a message from here upstairs to Siobhan. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll show me when I go to visit him. Um, hopefully that won't be too long when we get our new vehicle. Yes, it's on its way. It's been ordered. Yeah, we spoke to the the right people the other day, and uh, things are looking good. Um, wheelchair. Is also been paid for. Check has been wrote out and sent off, and it has been purchased. It's just got to be checked over now before it can be shipped to me, and then I'll be gone. Bum bum ba la ba. You won't be able to stop me. You won't. We worked out. I've been in bed for a, a whole year. I'm starting to feel like uh, Grandpa. What's his name? Out of Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> you know who I mean. Now, I do believe I have a cup of coffee somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. It wouldn't be right without a slurp in my zippy cup, would it, eh? Hold on. Hmm. You know, when I gave up smoking over a year ago, everybody turned around and said, what are you going to do instead of smoking? Well, I'm afraid it's drinking coffee. Yeah. I do like a cup of coffee. Stranger things, stranger addictions, I suppose. Could have been worse. I could have turned to cocaine or, you know, uh, 
I don't know, whatever, morphine, no, look like a mum morphine is anyway for the pain, but heroin or cocaine, I suppose, I could have uh, switched to, but no, I had to turn my to coffee. Mm. I don't care what anybody says, you can give me whatever sort of tea in the world that you like. Yeah, green tea, black tea, orange tea, whatever. Brown coffee or dark coffee. Very strong. That's what I like. Keeps me going. Wakes me up. Well, most of the time anyway. So, uh, as no one's got anything to say, I think I'll leave it there today and I'll have a word with you in the morning, all right? You look after yourself and I love you all. Thanks for listening and watching. Ta-ra.